straight or is it pointing up? I mean, you've got like a slight breakdown. Okay, uh, that's fine. Slightly like. Good morning! <laughs> Back in the job. <laughs> uh, Alright, um, we just need to. I guess we could Holy use some of this off. sand. Yeah, we're gonna pull the forms off, but we're not messing with that first. We're gonna do the repair on the pool deck okay, first. So uh, we need to get sand in the wheelbarrow, and then, but we can't bring the wheelbarrow in there, so we're gonna have to bring it in with a bucket. Ah, the bucket load. That, the ice bags at that, uh, that gas station where you stopped at this morning, they're big. They got nice ice bags there. Way I bigger than the normal that, ones. That, uh, 7-Eleven are freaking weak, bro. Yeah, everywhere is weak, it seems not it is. Like five pounds, I'm like, yeah, it looks like two and a half. No, you just throw it in the wheelbarrow and then we'll, because we're going to need more than one bucket, I think. But to get it in there, we're going to It's filled up like halfway. You're ready to expect your baby. So we got a little um, repair on the pool deck that we're going to do first. And then we can start working on the other stuff. place has good biscuits and gravy Dude, I know. I better than a lot of restaurants I swear sometimes it'd be like that with biscuits and gravy you find the better one at a gas station yeah hot wings <laughs> Hot wings, 8 a.m. Hey. We're gonna have to move this cage around. You don't have to move that, just here, over. all day. Hey, at least they're all thin and easy to pick. I don't care about the edges, not the straight pieces, right? Yeah, straight pieces don't matter. Wee it's weird because it's low, but it's mainly low, just like right on this edge. Yeah, that's, no, that's most pool decks be like that. That's where the splash water goes to. Yeah, exactly. It's normally just splash water, not a leak. Hey, that dump truck's never driven nicer. 
than with that trailer and the skin on the back. I know. It feels way better when it's got weight on it than it does when but there's it's nothing weird, on it. It's a different kind of weight than like if I have a load in the back. Because I'll get like, if I get four yards or something like that, to me it feels like the steering almost gets lighter. I'll start working on doing this repair if you just want to grab everything and start stripping that form off. see what the sides look like the impact should already have that bit still on it unless you take it off so really you just need the impact and the hammer and it should be good oh yeah captain oh yeah, yeah, for real. I don't really know what he's. So I put these pavers back, and we got a gap going on here. So I'm gonna fill this with tan polymeric sand and blend it in. And I'll close that gap. It is quite a big gap. It's a finger, finger gap. So we'll see if tan polymeric sand can work some magic with that. I know I took a broom with me to Northport that day, but I don't see that, I, I don't think I left it there. Check the drone video. Facts. Let me tamp it down first. Grab me that tamper. Take off that thing first. Go ahead and throw a little scoop right here so I can put it on there. Okay.
don't know how you're oh, gonna do that. Another scoop right here. Now how know how gonna do what? How you're gonna it's gonna get like completely flat. Cause this is still like that's the drop that you're dealing with too, you know? Hmm? Huh? Like, this was originally way farther up, so this whole thing is sloped down that way. Yeah. Even though we made this level. But that's where your uh, expertise is kind of floating. Go ahead and uh, hand me that level or that mallet. going berserk in there. When I walk past her, she goes, I'm going to see what you guys did. Alright. Yeah, she's saying it looks good. Bro, they make such good money, they're closed on Sundays. The whole gas station? Yes. You cannot go inside. They're closed. You can get gas outside, but you cannot walk inside that thing. It's locked up, closed every I Sunday. I didn't know that. Yeah. Huh. Well, good on them. Right? Come on. Wild. She's so close. That thing ain't going in there. Oh yeah, it is. My golly. Dude, this. Oh. Just stuck. This is kind of nice. This one really was supposed to be that one. This one. Yeah, that's what I'm
Yeah, man. Something like that, man. What's going to be interesting now is seeing how these pavers are going to work out. Because I took them off of their own concrete chunk. Yeah, remember I was chipping it off here? Yeah. And it was its own thing that just popped right off. Did you see how much that overhangs? It was like that. Jeez. We just have to make sure that we have the good edge sticking out. Yeah. Bad edge. That is both ugly. Like that's oh, you the know normal what edge. Did they put the these up to here like this? This is the good edge. But see how like this good edge is like that? Did they do that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Not that. Let me look at the picture again. No. Yeah, look. Yeah, it's like that. They're like that. <coughs> But the long ones were on the bottom. Yeah, which I had it like that. Oh, which would be this one. Yeah, on the which makes sense because it can't be too long. To... Yeah. Yeah, let's go ahead and get the grinder and the extension cord out here. I think I grind the backs of these. So I'm going to go ahead and grind all of these down that were thin setted, I gotta grind all the thin set off of them. Ethan setted the lows to get the downspout um, pop up drain that we're gonna carry out to over here. So, a couple of issues that I just thought about is we cannot finish the thin setting aspect of this right now until the new cage is put in, which is on Monday. This door frame is all getting replaced. So my buddy's gonna come and put the new cage in and then I can thin set these pavers because I need to know where the door is gonna be at so that I can get my positioning right normally the cage would just go on top of the pavers but this was a remodel pool deck so all the pavers are cut around the cage and the cage is actually on the outside of the pavers on a concrete slab like we made it so the cage will be out here on these on this area so we'll be back on monday afternoon after he's finished to re set this Brought the skid steer out for nothing. We thought we were gonna move that pad. Put the tent up for 20 minutes of shade. <laughs> but it is what it is. So we're gonna go ahead and clean up and get out of here. Good morning. We are back to finish up the um, little footer that we repaired. And we are going to thin set the pavers back today. Um, it is still raining in Florida. So I have rain in the forecast. And that's one of the reasons that I didn't bring the machine. Uh oh. Drop some. That I didn't bring the machine today was this backyard is still very wet. And I don't want to mess it all up driving the machine back here. So we're going to wait till it dries up. And then I'll bring the machine back one day to move this pad back into place after I get everything thin setted because you can't just lift this big boy up. So So yeah. That 
that is the plan here. Definitely need to get that gutter back installed here. And then ran out because as you can see there's water coming in here and washing stuff away. So I still have to I'm gonna have to fix some of these pavers in here. My buddy was telling me and get it all right. And then that looks funky. And then I can thin set this edge. So that's what we'll do. Yes, it is. Crazy dog. Perfecto. Now I have to fade all of this down quite a bit here because this door is very low. Low to the point where just a little bit too much thin set and the door is not going to want to close. So 
That's not very good. Up a bucket of thin set. It's already, the um, concrete's already damp and wet, so I'm not gonna put, squirt any water down on it, it'll be fine. It's just normally when you're thin setting on dry concrete, you always want to wet it down first. Adheres to the concrete better. When you wet it down. And I mean, there's so many different techniques to doing stuff. I mean, guys up north deal with freeze, freezing, and like especially when you're doing concrete there's a lot more stuff you have to take into account for when you're up north where it snows it doesn't freeze down here in Florida we don't have much shifting in the concrete we more so just have sinking you know because we have sandy soil so Compaction is a huge deal. That's the only thing that you see in Florida that happens is stuff sinks. It doesn't ever rise. It sinks. Where up north it could sink and it could also rise. And the older I get, the less I like the heat that we have down here that's for sure but at the same time I am not a person who can deal with the cold so it's a give and take really all right now the interesting part is gonna be Getting these to stay sideways here. That's gonna be the real interesting part. We'll just go ahead and test test one, just putting it on the back and trying to mallet her down in there and see what she does. See if she holds. Seems to be holding pretty good there. Let's go ahead and 
slap on another piece. Come on. Well, that might not work. <laughs> I might have to scratch coat it and then come back that's what i was fearing is because thin set normally doesn't work when you're putting something straight up and down that's why you scratch coat when you do veneer stone because thin set it just slides too easily which that's what i'm dealing with now Nope, didn't think so. All right. Get a sponge, clean it up. Now I gotta go to my house and get that stuff. All right, I am back at the job with the stone mortar. And I'm just gonna go ahead and send it and see if it'll stick with this stuff. Instead of doing a scratch coat and waiting a day, I think it'll be fine. We got some rain coming in from the south. So, we gotta be semi, semi quick with it and then cover it up. Don't want it to get rained on. Magnifico. So yeah, when I come back with the skid steer whenever this backyard, ooh, look at that rain coming in. Yeah, I need to get this covered. I'm gonna clean all this up and get this covered ASAP. When I get back, I gotta bring sand to put down in here, level it out, so I can take that and set it right there, right underneath those pavers. You dig? I better get a move on it, boy. Wind is starting to rip. Oh, there's a deer crossing the road. 
even dude knows it's, it's time to go into shelter mode, go into hiding. to come down <laughs> we need to get that off I'm not trying to get soaked oh I just felt the drop I just felt the drop what timing impeccable timing there folks <sighs> I wanted to go to Billy Max house that job that you saw in the last video today Ethan's on vacation right now I wanted to go and uh, see what I could get done on this Saturday but uh <clears throat> I'm not going to Billy Max house as you can tell it's raining over there as we speak he's south of us and that's where all the rain's coming from so, I just hope it didn't mess up my sand too much in that area i don't have an area that's screeded i still have to screed it but i don't want it washing out a bunch of sand that would be no bueno all righty folks that is it for this video thank you guys for watching and i will see you in the next one